Hey everyone, today I'll be extending off the previous tutorial that I uploaded um, using the water fix, uh, sorry, water physics in the early access version of Gamaka Studio, and today I'll be showing you how to create groups. So this is moving directly off the other one, so if you haven't already, I'd watch that first, and then you can move on to this as some of the things I explained in that I won't be re-explaining in this. Okay, um, so yeah, this is all the same as before. Uh, we have our OBJ liquid there from the previous tutorial, and then we have a new object called OBJ group, which I'm going to put just there. Okay, so uh, create an object and name it OBJ group or whatever you want. Really, it doesn't matter that much. Um, also, create a new sprite. Uh, mine is called SBR group. And it's a duplicate of SPL water from the previous tutorial, except I've colored it black instead of blue. Alright, now for the create event, uh, simple. Um, to start off with, I upped the uh, physics update speed to 120 to increase the um, stability and accuracy of the simulation, uh, but you won't necessarily need to do that. And then I've set the flags to PHY particle flag elastic. Um, if you want to find out what that flag does, just check out the manual for the early access version of Game Maker, and it has a good explanation of it there. Alright, um, then after that I'm going to go to the step event, oh, sorry, not the step event, the global left press event, which is where we create our group. Alright, so three functions do this. The main two is physics particle group begin and physics particle group end. Um, you need both of those for your group to work, otherwise yeah, it won't work. Alright, so to start off with, uh, we use physical, uh, sorry, physics particle group begin. Alright, um, for our type flags, uh, we just type flags, which is the variable we created in the step event. Um, for group flags, now there's two available group flags for um, groups. So you've got solid and rigid. Um, PHY particle group flag solid uh, means that um, it will prevent things from going inside of the group of particles and staying there and like getting lo lodged in between all the particles of the group. Um, just so you know, because I just realized I haven't explained it yet, a group is pretty much a soft body, except it's made up out of particles. So in this case, we'll be creating a circle out of particles and they'll um, morph as if it was a soft body. All right. Um, yeah, back, back to what I was saying about the groups. Alright, so solid will prevent things from getting lodged in and staying in there. When they get lodged in, the particles um, move around and uh, dislodge whatever is inside it and get it out of the group. Right, um, and then rigid uh, makes it so that the particle group doesn't morph from memory. I'm not entirely sure on that one, but from memory, the rigid one makes it so that the particle group doesn't morph. Um, like, a foot, like a soft body does. Okay, next one is the X and Y position. So I just put in mouse X and mouse Y for that, so that way when I click, it'll be, get created where I click in the room. Um, angular, oh, so the angle of the body is set to zero, so no rotation on it. Um, X and Y velocity is also set to zero, and then angular velocity, which would be the rotation speed, is also set to zero again. Uh, the color is C white, um, that means there's just going to draw the same color as the sprite's color. And then the alpha is 1, the strength is 1. Now this is the cohesion strength of the particles, so um, how much the particles will attempt, attempt to stay together. So the, um, the less the strength is, the, uh, the floppier your body would be, and the more the... Um, more rigid it would be. Now you can set it to 2, uh, in my experience after setting it to 3 as soon as it collides with anything um, it glitches out and the particles begin shaking uncontrollably and like compress into each other. So I wouldn't go any higher than 2 if I was you. Right, and then the category is 1, I explained categories in the last version. <laughs> Uh, not the last version, the last tutorial. Alright, um, next is physics particle group circle. So we're simply setting the shape, and for this all we have to do is enter the radius, which I set to 64. So it'll be 120 pixels wide. And then um, the group will uh, create enough particles to fill that area. 
Right, and then after that, it's physics particle group N, so we're just ending the group's creation, and we're done with that. Um, then there's just the draw event, which is pretty much the exact, yeah, pretty much the exact same as it was in the last tutorial. Uh, flags for type mask, category is one because we set that in the group's creation. Uh, we've simply changed the group, um, sorry, not the group, the sprite this time to SBL group instead of SBL water. And this sub image is zero again. Okay. Um, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to remove the water creation object to um, allow for more groups to be created because with the extra particles in the room and the limit still in place, um, after a while you'll get a group that's created and it's only like half of what you set it to be. Uh, but yeah, we're good to test, so make sure that your group object is inside the room and run your game. Okay, here we go. Oh, sorry. Alright, there we go. Alright, so now if I click, you can see the group's created, and there you have it. A, um, soft body made out of particles. So as you can see, it, like, morphs around and everything, uh, like a soft body does, but you can see that it's created out of these individual particles. I create more than one, they collide with each other. Now, if I create one that's slightly inside of the other one, they should shake around, hopefully not glitch out too much and um, manage to get out of each other, so I'm going to try that now, but I'm not guaranteeing anything, it may just glitch out completely, so we'll find out. Yeah, as you, as you saw then, it got pushed out of each other, so I'll do it again, so I'll click right on top of it this time. And there you go, it glitched out for a bit, but, that, but they did manage to push out of each other, and now it's running again. So if I keep creating these, and I manage to get to the particle limit, you should see a half um, one get created as there was too many particles in the room at once. But as you can see, it runs pretty damn smoothly. Like, with that amount in there, like, there isn't really any lag that I can see at the moment, although I might just not be... like have the sensitive eyes or whatever to pick up on all the lag, I don't know. But it looks pretty good. Alright, so it looks like I'm not going to hit the particle limit on this. Doing it this way anyway. But yeah, as you can see, it works pretty well. And if you click in there, it glitches out for a bit. But they, yeah, they managed to squish into all those different places. I could probably squish it in there. Oh no, maybe not. All right. Um, what I'm going to do now to show you this particle limit thing, I'm just going to add in the water creator back. So put in OBJ liquid and run it again. This is just to show you what I'm talking about. Alright, so I can create one like that and it's fine. Another thing that I've noticed is that more of them are created in this while the water's active. Now, I'm not sure why that is, but yeah, that's just how it is. So yeah, I'll create that one, that one, and we should see a half one soon. Probably the next one, maybe? Nope, maybe this one. There it is. Alright, so as you can see there, as it was falling, um, it the bottom of it was cut off. Um, and I can't create any more because we've hit the particle limit and the water can't get to the bottom to be destroyed. So yeah, this one just here is, like you can see it's missing the bottom. So that's what I'm talking about where like you'll get half of one created because the particle limit gets hit and it can't create any more particles from that. But yeah, that's it on groups. Um, you can do just squares and I think there's a way to do polygons too. I'm not entirely sure, but I've just experimented with circles for now. Yeah, this should give you a basic idea of how it's done, give you a place to start from, and I hope this helped you guys out. Um, just a reminder, this is in the early access version only at the moment. By the time that you watch this, it may have moved into the stable version of Game Maker 2, so not sure. Um, but it should cross over the same, so yeah, it should work no matter what version you're using it in, so yeah. Alright, um, if this helped you guys out, like the video if you want more videos, subscribe, uh, you can like the Anti Games Facebook page, you can like, no, sorry, you can follow Anti Games on Twitter or on Google Plus as well. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video.